What's up guys? It's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and today I'm going to show you everything that I eat in a day as a vegan. And this is a meal prep edition, and this is like a real life practical how I actually do it meal prep edition. I'm going to show you how I don't overthink it. I don't get in my head about it. I just make extras when I can, and that way my life is a little bit easier on busy days when I don't have time to make things from scratch, but I still get to eat healthy this way. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm also going to show you some behind the scenes of a screener I got to go to. This is a clip of Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and Sam Elliott. And I'll talk more about that later. It was really fun. And if you saw the movie A Star Is Born, you'll get to see some like cool little clips and takeaways that I got from the movie. So this was a really fun day. I thought I would share what I ate and also a little bit about what I did. And I hope you guys get some great ideas and enjoy the video. So for me, eating healthy really begins with a little bit of preparation. I don't have any strict crazy meal prep rules or anything. I just try to think ahead and make things easier for myself when I can. So on this night, before I finished cleaning up the kitchen for the night, I just took out some frozen banana and frozen zucchini and I popped it into a blender along with a couple of handfuls of spinach. And if you haven't put frozen zucchini in your smoothies, I really recommend it because you can't taste it and it adds a really nice creaminess and it's also a really great way to sneak in some extra veggies. So I put that together with some cinnamon, I popped the lid on and I threw it into the freezer. And then in the morning, all I would have to do is add some water or almond milk and my smoothie would be ready to go. I also meal prepped some overnight oats because I wanted to have two breakfasts on this day. I had one on my way to the meeting, which was pretty early in the morning. And then I knew I was gonna be hungry after that. So I packed this as well. And this is a chocolate cherry oatmeal chia seeds which added some protein some calcium and also some omegas they also help thicken up the oatmeal so you have a nice kind of chocolatey thick oatmeal which i really like and then for some natural sweetness i added a little bit of raisins and about a teaspoon of maple syrup and i just finished this with some unsweetened almond milk i'll put all of the actual measurements in the description box below along with all of the recipes in this video so then you're just gonna stir it up. It only takes about a minute to make and you can easily make two or three of these at a time so you have for the next several mornings in a row. And then I like to finish this with a big dollop of unsweetened vegan yogurt and some frozen cherries. And the frozen cherries are great because they actually thaw out in the fridge overnight and they create this really nice kind of sweet sauce that kind of mixes in with the chocolate and chocolate and cherries is just so good. And this is a really nice treat to look forward to on a busy morning. Eating healthy does not have to be boring or bland. You can definitely have some fun with it and I think this is a really great way to do that. When I woke up in the morning, I poured myself a big glass of water and I sipped this throughout my morning while I was getting ready. And even though I was in a hurry, I really tried to make sure that I got a full glass of water in. And the way I kind of trick myself into not going straight for coffee and actually finishing a glass of water first is to do little chores while I drink my coffee. So I'll make my bed, you know, I'll open the blinds. I'll just kind of like put dishes away from the night before while I'm drinking my coffee and no water. <laughs> and then I'll go to coffee. And it's just like a really great way to to make sure that you're hydrated and then in the morning i didn't have time for breakfast and i actually wasn't quite hungry just yet because i got ready pretty quickly so i just went ahead and added some plant milk to my smoothie this is unsweetened almond milk blended it up and then put it in a to-go cup and this was the perfect thing on my drive to work then i went ahead and i just packed my overnight oats for after my meeting and i headed off to my meeting <laughs> One thing I really dislike about a lot of other meal prep plans is that you have the same thing over and over and over, maybe not every day of the week, but at least several meals in a row, and that can get really redundant. So what I like to do instead is just make extras, and this quinoa salad is something that I make extra extra of to last me for the week, and I can use it in so many different ways. And I pretty much make this every week because it's super simple. So all you're going to need for this is you're just gonna take a handful of almonds and a handful of pumpkin seeds. I add that straight into a blender along with some sun-dried tomatoes, which add a really nice flavor and also a nice texture. And then a couple of tablespoons of store-bought olive tapenade. Again, lots of flavor. It's got some vinegar, it's got spices, it's got some peppers and tomatoes in there. So lots of bang for your buck with minimal effort there. And then I just went ahead and I added some shallots. You could use cooked onion, you could use raw onion, you could use green onion, whatever you like. And then also a couple of handfuls of fresh parsley, which really freshens everything up and adds a really great pop of color. 
and then I just add that to some cooked quinoa. I stir it together. I also go ahead and in the exact same blender that I used, I'll put a couple handfuls of spinach and just kind of blend that up until it's really finely chopped. That way I don't have to do it by hand. It's so much easier. And then I'll stir that through as well. So getting additional veggies in the salad. And then I'll mix this with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, and some salt and pepper. And this makes about six servings. So it's really, really hearty. And like I said, the flavors just marinate and get better and better over time. So for lunch on this day, all I did when I got home was I just warmed up some tofu in a pan with a couple of drops of sesame oil. You really don't need a lot to add so much flavor and it took about three to four minutes just to warm through. And then in a bowl, I added some lettuce, just some fresh romaine that I got from the farmer's market this weekend. And then I did lots of the quinoa salad and you can see all those beautiful colors kind of sprinkled throughout. So it's a really hearty and flavorful addition. And then I had some leftover roasted veggies. Again, if I'm gonna be making veggies or anything for dinner, I try to make a lot and that way, lunches like this can be really delicious and healthy with minimal effort. And then I put the tofu on top and then I finished this with some carrot ginger dressing. This one's from Whole Foods. So this was a really great lunch, lots of different textures and colors and flavors, lots of protein and fiber. And it just made me feel really good to know when I came home that there was food that was waiting for me and I could have a healthy lunch without having to spend money on grabbing something similar out at a restaurant and it wasn't gonna take a lot of time for my day. All right, so I'm about to go to a movie screening. My friend invited me to a screening that is with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. I'm so excited. It's for A Star Is Born, which I still haven't seen yet. And they're doing an event at the Pacific Design Center and they're gonna have like a screening and then a Q&A with some of the cast, including Bradley Cooper, which I'm so excited about. And I'm gonna try to film. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to film, but I'm gonna try and I will let you know how it goes. And then we're gonna go to dinner after that. So it should be really fun. Blech. I gotta go though, I'm really late. <laughs> I had to dive very, very deep. I had to let go of all of the parts of myself that I used to protect. And I had to go down into a place where I was completely stripped, completely afraid vulnerable. So for dinner we went for sushi and we started with this asparagus that you guys could easily make at home just by sauteing some asparagus in a little bit of sesame oil and then using a store-bought teriyaki sauce like the one from Trader Joe's is really good and I would finish this with a little bit of red pepper flakes. Really easy and it makes a really great side dish or an appetizer. And then we had a couple different veggie rolls. We had a roasted veggie sushi roll which had this spicy dipping sauce. That's what that figure eight is on the plate. We also got some cucumber rolls and my favorite which will always be the avocado roll I know it's simple but I just love 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 avocado rolls all right so I'm home now and I've got my caramel tea it's the same one I made last night and then I just do a splash of almond milk in it but it's way too hot so I can't uh, drink it right now but I'm home from the movie and getting to see an interview with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga right after watching them on screen in the movie was so incredible, it was so special. And there were a couple things that I was really taken by. And especially if you guys have seen the movie, you'll really appreciate this. One thing was Bradley Cooper was saying that his role as an actor for that character was not to just play one character, but to play two. And I thought that was a really interesting thing to say, even just from a psychological standpoint. He was basically saying that he had to play this character who was vulnerable and boyish and flawed, and he also had to play that boy's idea of what a rock star was as kind of his outer shell that he presented to the world and on stage, and he had to embody both of those people when approaching the role. So I thought that was really interesting, and I've always been really interested in the psychology behind acting because you're really just studying hum human behavior, which is something I love to think about and learn about. And um, I just think it's interesting that so many of us have the person that we are and then sort of this outer layer that people get to see and interact with and then there's just so much more beyond the surface. Another thing I thought was interesting was that Lady Gaga was so vulnerable. Like you expect, I mean she looked amazing. She's super, super small, but she was beautiful. She was very 80s. She had like a blazer dress on that was oversized and rolled up 
three quarter lengths of the sleeve and then she had her hair pulled back in just like old Hollywood glamour movie star hair and she was just so beautiful but what I really appreciated is that she has this on stage persona I've been to a concert of hers and on stage she's large she's like larger than life and just crazy and amazing and so powerful and then in this setting in this room I felt like I was sitting right next to a friend and just having a conversation about you know art and acting and psychology and life and love and all these things and music and then she was also talking about how why she thinks so many musicians and just I guess famous people in general have addictions like her husband's character in the movie and I and she said that because when you're on stage there's so much energy and you're absorbing the energy from sometimes thousands and thousands of people and it's like the highest high you could feel and then you get off stage and you've absorbed all this energy and it's like what do you do with it and you don't know what to do with it and I think that's something that people can experience in their own life too just we're constantly stimulated all day long and by the people that we're with and the things that we're doing and then you're left with this energy and sometimes we try to numb it you know by just scrolling through Instagram and not really being conscious of the way that we're feeling or you know some of us like drink or we eat ourselves into numbness or whatever it is that we do that kind of makes us not feel as much or helps us unload some of that energy and um, if you do that without having a sort of like self-awareness, then it could really be a dangerous thing. And I just thought that was such an interesting perspective from someone who is one of the most famous musicians, pop stars in the world. So that was really, really cool. Overall, it was a really cool experience and a really good day of food and eating and getting to do lots of stuff. It was a busy, productive day. I feel like I ate really well, and then this was like the perfect, very special occasion to kind of end a really nice day. So I feel very inspired, and I thought I would share that with you, as well as the food that I ate today. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video, and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye. I've been in your